Did you just say? I'm done. Done. Oh. No, she's a succubus. She's a lowly succubus. Wrong order, apparently. Got him pretty good with that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are here today with something I've been looking forward to for a while. In the Unholy Society. I caught a whiff of this game like roughly two or three years ago and then I lost kind of track of it. And just recently it resurfaced and the best part about it comes out on the 25th. That being said, what you're doing here is you're playing the role of this apparently skateboarding exorcist. Think of something like Constantine, just a lot more hardcore. The game is going to be all about this demon spiritual uprising, the apocalypse of the world, and you are the only person who can stop it as this bad boy right here. It's very tongue-in-cheek, um, witty humor, very dark at the same time, but hey. All right, all good. <laughs> you know, that's the first thing you want to see when you um, go into the game with the priest exorcist in the front cover. Just hanging out in a nightstand of prophylactic, being blown up by damn Susan. Not just Susan, but damn Susan. What the hell? Don't ask me, it's yours. Okay, we have more than one person here. Alright, we can't do voices until we figure out who is who. Don't ask me, it's yours. Jesus, so persistent. It's seriously getting on my nerves, Bon. I'll be right back, okay? So we got some visuals now. We got our boy right there, apparently with a senorita of some kind, you know, catching some of that strange. You gotta do what you gotta do. Still getting blown up, though. This is my lady friend right here, by the way. Seriously? Could you get that damn phone? I will get there. What about this bottle? Nothing left in there, huh? Alright. Switch on the light. Couldn't see my phone otherwise, apparently. It's so dark. You got a special light on the phone. All right, it's still blowing up. Yo, pick it up, dog. <laughs> so we accepted or declined it. I was accepted. And now she hung up. And? Lily, I'll get back to you in a sec. It seems like a family business. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just try to come back before I die of boredom. And bring me a nail file, would you? Gotcha. I won't be long. Oh, believe me, we'll, we'll entertain you pretty soon here, doll. Let's go into the restroom first. Gotta get you a nail file as well. 3 a.m. My sister usually isn't that desperate. I better check if it's something urgent. And get that nail file, too. Alright. Well, let's uh, turn on this light if we can. Nice. Plenty of blood here. I've had some experiences in my life, but none of them really involved this much blood, you know what I'm saying? Wow, what a mess. Which one is the nail file? Oh, it's, it's obviously that one, but... Is that a, isn't this like a tool they use for like lobotomies? You can pick that one up. <laughs> you got a special item. Nail file? Maybe. So, 3 p.m. your time? Okay. Call me back. When can you talk? Hey, Jim's birthday's next month. Will you come? Can't. We can adjust to your schedule. Just give me a date. Hey, did you think of the date? When can you come? Friend says she can do either 17 or 18. Does it work for you? Just letting you know the party will be in the 24th. You could at least respond. Sorry. Will you come? <laughs> Two weeks later. Alright, so I think we're getting... What we're getting here is that Susan is very needy, but at the same time, we're, we're a scumbag who just don't really care too much. Bon, you okay in there? What the hell happened? I thought it was just nighttime a while ago. It's morning already? You've been there for hours. Searching for that nail thing took me some time. Did you at least bring it? Uh, y yeah. <laughs> sure did. Bon, seriously? Eyes, do you have them? Lillian. I swear to Samuel, I try to keep up with your mortal stupidity for exactly six hours and 16 minutes. Did you just say? I'm done. Done. Oh, no, she's a succubus. She's a lonely succubus. You've made me lose my app. She actually really is. You've made me lose my appetite. And the makes <laughs> the makeup's gone. <laughs> You know, sometimes you go to bed with something, you wake up with something else, and you're like, wait, wait a minute, that's not what you looked like last night. Um, how was this app working again? Right, spells. I definitely need to choose some spells. Only those activated on the phone will work, so three spells per fight, no more. 
All right, so let's see. We have light attack and medium attack. Huh? Um, only three. Well, we only got two, so let's go light, medium. Sure. I have no idea how we're gonna do this, but hopefully, it's a tutorial. Bond, calm down. Exorcism is easy. Exorcism is fun. Um, so we're looking for an upside down cross. Uh, this is shiny. Does that work? I guess that worked. Okay, that's it. Now just land as many spells as possible before she's able to counterattack. All right, she took a hit there. So we go with this one first. That again. Oh. Wrong order. Wrong order, apparently. Got him pretty good with that one. <laughs> Damn. She sucks the life out of me. I better keep track of how much I can stand or life force her to split into cross. Yeah, I've seen that already, buddy. All right, so we got that one and that one. Another light attack over here. Very good, very good. I mean, can we just spam light? That worked. Go with that one. She's about to <laughs> handle an attack on us. Okay, let's see. Where's another one? Boom. Oh, the cross is gone. Got it. Okay. Woohoo. I'm not sure if it's like, um, a weird glitch, but like, you saw the one by the door, like, the entire cross wasn't showing up. It was just like the bottom portion of it for some reason. It was letting me highlight it, though. That's kind of weird. Mother. I was right. Girls are better. Yo, yo. I mean, if that's your choice in life, that's perfectly fine, but don't, don't dog on my boy Bon here. I've wasted a super like on a succubus. Thank you, Binder. <laughs> I guess that's their version of Tinder. It's not the best time, Sue. I was just informed about an unauthorized exorcism. Oh, holy shit, I mean, your holiness. I was attacked, right here, in Elo. It was this close. Bonaventura Horowitz. There can be no evil in Hawaii unless invited. Even if first notified, then exercise. That's the protocol. Your, your holiness, I... Another blatant breach of rules would not be tolerated. Also, many blessings to Susan on her wedding. Damn. Wait. What wedding? And obviously we have our, our Silent Hill reference right off the bat. I love that already. Welcome to Silent Virginia. Okay, this looks really cool. Alright, I'm digging this already. So, um... I guess we'll just walk this way, huh? Thought I'm never gonna see this place again. As awful as I remember. Dark colors and all those violets and pinks. Perfect place for a wedding, Susan. I actually like the violets in pink. I think it looks really cool. Oh, I, I think I know that face. Bon Bon Horowitz. I'd be damned. You look awful. Th thank you, Greg. Now, kindly dissolve. Don't try to be cute, son. You still got the exorcist thing going on. Skateboarding's my thing now. You're in luck, old man. Sinister is my kind of fun. My current occupation is being the family disappointment. Oh, how about that? Skateboard is my thing now. Yeah, that's great, Tony. You can help me while doing a flip trick. I know the Tony references. You're calling me Tony Hawk, huh? Oh, cliche. P please don't call me that. Good, good. Oh, those are some strange noises coming from my attic. I need you to check it out, son, because I ain't dragging my butt up that ladder. What kind of noises? Why me? Why exactly should I help you? You give me one good reason, old man. No wanna do it for me? Do it for Susan. Last thing she needs is some spawn of Satan disturbing her big day. As much as it hurts me, you might have a point. You ain't my first choice, son. I've already sent one big fella upstairs. Bet that thing got him. Who? Big, tall, handsome, like a dark skin sequoia. Visibly scared, too. Did you say scared? The dog talks? He did? I might have. Did, did the dog just... Hey, Dick, I'm ready. <laughs> that answers that question. Want to talk shit about me? <laughs> Come say it to my face. Why are you, why are you so... Why, why is he so mean? Will you two quit it? Bon Bon, stop barking that Chi Chi and get your ass moving. Okay, old man. I'll see what I can do. You know, the dog started it, old man, all right? He had no reason. Oh, now he's barking. Now he's barking, of course. 
I see no evil slain, boy. Did you get scared? I know no fear, Greg. Yeah, just, just hold your horse, Greg, right? I'm trying to get a feel for the entire area here. There's something lying in the grass. Sure. Hey, it's a toy ball. Great stuff to keep your pet occupied. Alright. Or to kill demons. To kill demons, you say, how? A small fluffy toy for your pet. Keep your cat or dog busy for some time. I'm not sure how you're gonna kill him with that, but we'll give it a try. Are you? Oh, you're the scared guy he was talking about. You you do look fairly scratched up there. Long time no see, Bone. Brackus. Just as I thought. You're the scared. Yep, that's it. Let's go with that one. A um, what now? A beautiful dark skinned sequoia. And yeah, visibly scared. I've missed you and your sarcasm, bro. So, you done with that raccoon or whatever the sinister presence was? Actually, I was hoping you helped me out. You can't be serious. Look, what if it's rats? I can't go. Uh, I'm allergic. Allergic to what? Getting shit done? Yo, that's the one. Don't joke about allergies, man. You wouldn't believe the size of my rash. Okay, wait, wait a second. There we go. Gotta go up here. Not sure why there's an arrow there, but sure. Alright. I got a ball and I will- Oh, we gotta use some spells now. Okay, so we're gonna instantly start fighting. I mean, we're gonna keep the same layout that we had. I'm sure glad I got to waste my time on this nonsense. The hell? It's not a demon, it was just a kitty cat the entire time. That's all- Wait, wait a minute. No, no, you're not a kitty cat. You're actually a demon. You are possessed. You're over here chanting in Latin. No normal cat speaks in Latin. Okay. Well, you must be exercised, my friend. Ah, your time's over, kitty cat. I like that he can see, like, this alternate universe. When you're looking around with the magnifying cross, I guess. And by beating him, we threw the ball at him, so that's the reason why we needed the ball. I wonder what would happen if you didn't pick up the ball then, huh? Intriguing. Ah, oh, you like that toy, right? I knew we could end it peacefully. Leave our presence, human man. But remember, every breath you take, every move you make... What are you, Sting now, or the police, or what are you doing? So, that's that's been taken care of. Thankfully, we had the, the, the old tennis ball here to save us. I'm really curious about what would have happened if we had no tennis ball. Alright, Barack, as you, uh, you stop shaking, accordingly so. Thank God, I was getting worried. Worried? Have you met me? Yeah, and that's exactly why I was concerned. Anyway, what was it? A cat. Just a regular stray. How suspiciously ordinary. Also, the old man has already left. He wanted me to tell you in case you failed. I knew it. And if you actually managed to succeed... Thanks, I guess. Old fart. Come on, Bon. He's such a funny guy. While you were busy up there, you shared with me some stories from the glorious 60s. Were really cool. They certainly explained a lot. Uh, moving on to the serious matters. Where's Susan now? At Edwards. Getting ready, I think. You'd have to ask your, your aunt. She in charge of planning and organizing. His name is Edward. He's a, a different kind of guy. Good different or bad different? Slav. <laughs> Winter without a tracksuit. Indeed. My sister getting married to a Slav? You know, your boy feels like squatting right now. What do we got here? Damn, this used to be Groyetsky's Gizmos Aplenty. Now it's Woodski's Watsits Galore. Just a regular shop, yeah. I'm really enjoying the background as well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. how you doing there, big mama? Bonnie! Aunt Amorosa. You look awful, my boy. What happened? Demon attacked me. Oh, my, an elo. How could that happen? Uh, I was just swiping right, hoping for the best. Unlimited likes? Yeah, it cost a fortune. So, um, Susan's wedding. Oh, oh, cousin Darnell, come. How do you like Susan's new boy toy? Let's find out about that. He's quite a catch, tall, pale, handsome, ageless. Oh my. 
Dark hair, jawline sharp like a razor. I'm listening. To top it off, his family's filthy rich. Wait, what? Susan managed to anchor down a guy like that? Oh, your sister can be very seductive. There's not much time left to the ceremony. Go fetch your sister, Bon. Edward's mansion is on the west side of the city. You'll have to pass by the station and Uncle Jesse's house. When you're there, don't you dare steal those little towels. It's not a hotel. Well, I mean, we're gonna put him out there, why not? Alright, so we are approaching... ...houses now. It's a very spooky apparition up there. Is that a ghost I see? Because the last time I checked, you were dead to me. You're a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Thank you. Heard you're running a guest house now. Ah, oh, money's tied in these silent Virginia these days. And people are actually booking? Oh yes, I've had some great reviews. Seriously. We actually have a guest right now, a bothersome one, really. On the first night, she broke the VCR and clogged the child with drain with hair. Not to mention a bunch of stuff my stuff went missing. Sounds like a standard demonic possession. You want me to exercise her for you, Uncle? Hold that thought, Bonnie. That checkout is soon. We wouldn't want a bad review. <laughs> now you can't have that. Oh well, his problem. What do we have here? Oh, another item. A lipstick, fancy. Never thought I'm gonna see this again, kid. You're not as bad as you seem. Eh, no need for flattery, uncle. I don't want to lose my edge image. Edgy image. Wait, seven days? I don't recognize this cassette, it's definitely not mine. To be honest, it reeks of regret and bad decisions. And my gut feeling tells me that your problematic guess might have something to do with it. It's a checkout time anyway, so go do your thing, kid. Aha, uh -huh. don't mind if I do. Alright, demoness. Oh my god, you're like... Grudge looking. It is. She's even the TV speaking to me in Japanese now. Shonen no Shina Ninari. Okay. Japanese bros out there? You do you do you. You tell me what that TV's telling me. Some good taste in anime right there. <laughs> I think we can find some common ground. We could have been besties if you were in debt, that is. AO3 has some nice Kawashin if you're into such stuff. And that's a reference, it's just going right over my head right now. We can find some common ground, can we, demon? Not very talkative, huh? Anyway, I found this VHS. Oh, that's the seven days, of course. That's how it worked. Sumemasen, it's time for you to leave. Now let's go with the VHS. Is it yours? Then this is not reality, this world where no one exists. No, it is only a dream. Then I don't exist here either. Flawless victory. Thank you, Bonnie. I got you something. Water? You seriously didn't have to, Uncle. Don't judge a book by its cover, kid. Remember that well where supposedly the devil himself took a leak? It's water from that exact well. Been in our family, family for generations. <laughs> it's a bit disturbing, but alas. Just kidding, it's just mineral water. And here's the real reward. Now that this mess has been taken care of, let's get to enjoy the wedding. See you at the church, Bonnie. We're out of time, I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. We have the church and the wedding to go to, which I imagine something else is gonna happen, but... This is the Unholy Society. If you guys enjoy, wanna see a bit more, leave it in the comments. If you leave a good thumbs up, we'll definitely come back and do some more. So far, I'm digging it. Liking the, um, dialogue as well, in particular. I'll catch you guys next time.